SCPA1 worksheet number one. This is the very beginning of probability where it all starts and that is what we call sample spaces. You know what, it starts even before that. What is probability? Really probability is the likelihood of something to happen or occur. And so in designing or developing the likelihood of something happening, we need to know what the sample space is. Now what a sample space is, is um, the total number of things that could happen. Um, so actually, sorry I had to grab this, I just used this a second ago in the video. This is a deck of cards, there are 52 cards in the deck. The sample space is all 52 of those. Um, a typical sample space might be a, a spinner. So we have a spinner and we have red and blue and green and yellow. The sample space here happens to be red, blue, green, and yellow. Um, and so those are what's in the sample space. Now you have many different ways to organize or list uh, or uh, put all that sample space together. One way is in a list. So we could do red, <laughs> that happens to be green, and green, and blue, and yellow. This is a, a listing method here. You see how they're listed. And, um, and so if we were doing uh, the numbers 1 through 5, if we were picking a number 1 through 5, this would be our list. Now the only thing I guess that I'd say about listing, uh, actually let's do 1 through 6, uh, pretend it's uh, a dice that we're rolling, right? We're off rolling a dice, uh, a D6 I will refer to that as, a six-sided dice. There are six different things that could happen and so on. Now, um, the let's, um, how about if we had a bucket um, and in that bucket we had uh, a five chip, a five chip, a one chip, and a ten chip. Now, if you're going to reach into that bucket to grab one of these chips, um, there are only three things that could happen. You could get a 1, you could get a 5, or you could get a 10. Now notice I didn't list the 5 twice. When we're listing, we never list it more than once. It's there. It's an outcome. Uh, it will factor into the probability, but in the sample space, there's only three things there uh, to connect up. Now this is where a good time to discuss uh, another set of words. Uniform probability and non-uniform probability. Now uniform implies what uh, we would expect that word to imply. Equal or everybody's got the same chance. It's everybody is a uniform. Everybody is uh, the same as everybody else. So in the first case, this would be uniform because this says one-fourth, 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 one-fourth. This would be a uniform arrangement. When you roll a dice, there is six sides. There is one number on each side. There is a uniform probability to that. This, though, is not uniform because one of the items has a greater chance than the others. This getting a five is more likely more likely and so this is not a uniform probability. So when you are looking at um, a sample space, one, you just list out the items that are there, not repeating things more than once. When you're determining uniform, you're trying to see if something is more likely than something else. For instance, if you pick up two dice and you roll it and you sum them, you add them together, you get the numbers that go from 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, because 1 and 1 of the dice make 2, and two, a 6 and 6 make 12. Uh, here you could get a 5 and a 6, or a 6 and a 5, and so on. And uh, in this list, there are some of those that are more likely than others. For instance, a 7, a sum of a 7 in the middle there, I could have rolled a 6 and a 1, a 1 and a 6, a 2 and a 5, a 5 and a 2, a 3 and a 4, a 4 and a 3. I could have rolled 6 different things to obtain the 7, but I could only get a 12 one way, and that would be a 6 and a 6. So there is, in this list, a non-uniform arrangement. 
Now other things, so this is listing them out. Sometimes uh, to get a list of items um, or to get all of the sample space, we will um, draw a tree diagram. So let's think about flipping a coin. So let's uh, flip a coin twice, two times. Now, um, well, I'll come back to listing in a second, but the way you can think about it is you could say, well, what happens first? I could get a head or I could get a tail. That's kind of the first flip. Then from there, you could have got a head after that or a tail after that or a head from this one or a tail from this one. That's your second flip. So the sample space is you could have got a head head, a head tail, a tail head, and then a tail tail there are four things in the sample space. Now we could have just listed that out, head, head, oops, head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. We could have just made a list of those things, um, but we could also do it through a tree diagram. We could also use tables. So that's also a nice way to record things. <coughs> So let's say I had two dice that were um, of four sides. Now you say, what does a four-sided dice look like? Well, I should have one on hand is a, a D4 here. It might be easier to list all the things that could happen here. You could, uh, when you roll, roll it twice, let's roll it twice, you could get a 1-1, one, one. you could get a 1-2, a 1-3, a 1-4, you could get a 2 one, two, 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 three, two, four, and so on and so on. And these become your sample space of what could have happened. And it's a nice way to organize it. We'll certainly look at Venn diagrams at another time in much more extensive nature. But today is really about what a sample space is. We only write one of each type that enters the sample space. And it's either uniform or non-uniform. That's my start. Hey, I'm back. Why am I back? I had to go get my dice. Let me show you some of my uh, favorite things here. Whoa, where am I? Uh, that, whoa, there we go. These are some of my favorites here. So for instance, this is the, um, the four-sided dice. You see how it's uh, the tetra, tetrahedron. So in this case, whatever number is showing that's up, it becomes the roll, so like that one. Here is a 30-sided dice, uh, almost looks like a ball in terms of it. Um, and then here is what they call uh, a D20. All right, it's got 20 sides to it. Uh, here is an eight-sided dice, uh, awesome stuff. Anyways, uh, I love games and uh, games come with all kinds of dice and so it's fun to include in the probabilities.